Hi everybody, today we want to create a note symbol family. And first thing we want to do is we want to go over to File. We want to go to New. And we want to go to Annotation Symbol. And then we'll go to our Annotation Templates. So it'll take us directly there. And we'll select Generic Template. Generic Annotation Template and we'll click Open. Now, this will open up. Now, once it's open, you'll get this little text message here. Okay, but what we like to do now, we want to open this Word document up that I have. Oop, I'm sorry. We want to leave Rivet for a moment. Or well, we can just go here, just go open this Word document that I have here. And let's open this. Now you can extract text from Word right in the rivet. So now we have this document here, this note. So we'll select this entire note. Now we can go Control V or we can right click and go copy. Now we'll go back into Rivet, and we can go under our text tab, and we'll place a point, say, right here, and then we'll right-click this, and we'll go Paste, because it's still held on to our uh, copy, we'll be copying from the Word document. So let's cancel this, modify, so let's grab this box. And we'll move this document right here, and this will be our insertion point. I have to get it exact, but that's close enough, or I can just slide it right here. Now, once we have that there, we can remove this. We can just delete this note text. So now, while we're in here, we have this family loaded in. Let's go in and have a look at what we can do. So we can select this, go in here and drag across. Just drag, highlight this. And we want to make this bold and we want to underline it. We can change the script or whatever we want, whatever here. And we also say, let's just grab all of this, this note. Grab all of this down, and in this point, we can create bullet points, or we can add uh, numbers, alphas. We can change the format. You cancel that. So there, as you can see, we got all these options, and then also. We can grab this stretch handle and we can stretch this out and we can pull it in. And as you can see, we get a little jagged here, but just for this example, I'll just pull this out back to where it was. Or I'll just undo it back, to make it simple. Just want to basically show you how this works. Now, once you have your text in Revit, you can do a lot of different things as far as the, uh, the numbers. So in this case, we'll just leave this A, B, and C. And then we'll go in and let's go open a Revit file. I have one here somewhere, I think. Oh, the file. There it is, right there. Let me open this guy up. And we have a title block already here in place with notes on with um, 
sheet number schedule on it, but we don't really need that for this exercise. So we can go back into um, our family. So let's go back into the family. And let's load this in the project. Now you should name this whatever you like and everything. Um, but I'm just basically trying to show you how to add notes in the project. So let's load this into our project. And there are notes. So that's there you go. I just wanted to show you a simple way of how to add how to add a note family into a, a title sheet. So there you go. So thank you for watching this video, and I have more videos coming up later.